Hey, Jacob. So I've heard you have this really interesting idea for how like weapons and armor and stuff could work in a D&D game. So why don't you go ahead and launch into that? Yeah. So I got this idea from one of Mr. Rex's videos, if you come across him on YouTube, where he mentioned how it, weapons are kind of lacking in D&D in terms of their usefulness. So I thought if you kind of did a rock, paper, scissors type thing with the three weapon types of slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning, where if you gave piercing a plus two to basically like fur or nat armor and a plus mm. one to normal armor, give bludgeoning plus two to heavy, normal armor and then a plus one to unarmored characters, so no no nat, no armor. Right. And then slashing's plus two to no armor and then plus one to nat armor, which is kind of very realistic lit realistic in the world because bludgeoning is really good against your kind full like plate full plate or bare chest but after that it crushes bone right but it's not really good against a dense matted for like a dogs or a bears because that that cushions the blow right right not as good anyway yeah right so that would help give actual variety to your weapon types of if you're going up against an animal grabbing a piercing or a slashing weapons better than a bludgeoning Oh, okay. So you'd almost build in, like, uh, if you're using X weapon, it's really good against X type of uh, yeah. character. I mean, that used to be kind of the case in a D&D 3.5 where, you know, like, skeletons were really... Bludgeoning was good against skeleton, skeletons because yes. slashing didn't really do much because it's it, a skeleton. It helps fill in the resistances that mm. D&D 3.5 had of... But 5 kind of removed in the effort of simplicity, yes. which... Um, I have noticed with the D&D 5 rules, like, simplicity, in a lot of ways, also can remove a lot of um, realism. Uh-huh. You know, like, uh, fly speed was a thing back in D&D 3.5. Fly speed was this, I so know why was, they removed it, but yeah. having a outer dragon flying like a hummingbird is, is kind problematic. of broken. Right, so the idea, like, a big lumbering dragon is moving like a cruise line, like a cruise, you know, mm -hmm. a cruise uh, ship changing direction. Compared where to a pixie can move every wants, direction. Right, like a hummingbird can just stop yeah. and then go back. And, and that allowed you to have things like fly speed perfect versus fly speed clumsy. And so you have the same sort of thing where a lot of the, like, a lot of the damage types have been removed from resistances. Yes just in favor of just a straight, like, DR3, you know, damage reduction in three or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, what you're trying to really bring back is this concept of, okay, if you're fighting a guy in full plate, your slashing weapon doesn't do a lot against a guy in full plate because the full plate's designed to stop the yeah, slashing weapon. It, it, it still does damage, but, but it doesn't have a bonus to actually get through But a bludgeoning it. weapon, on the other hand, could dent the armor. Or and piercing punctures the plate. Right, exactly. Where then if you're a normal human, like a slashing weapon is really devastating if you're not wearing anything because yeah. that means you're cutting arteries, you're, you're cutting bone. You're, la you're lacerating your tendons and your right. ligaments. Right. And piercing is just more of like, it, as long as it, if it hits a vital, you're screwed. But mm -hmm. otherwise, it's done a, a localized amount of damage where yes. a slashing weapon is doing a, a broad amount of damage and a bludgeoning weapon it's is doing a concussive... Is yeah. shattering bones. It's a good idea, right? Because then it kind of brings back in a little bit more realism. Yes. So if this is something you want to do in your game, you want to bring a little bit more realism back in your game, think about this. Uh, and if you want the, the chart itself, I'll go ahead and link it into the description so you can kind of have a quick uh, little idea of what does what to what. And mm -hmm. uh, with that, we'll see you tomorrow.